What's up guys, I'm here in Augusta, Georgia right now. Um, I'm about to hit the gym. I got here five, six days ago. And uh, yeah, I was in Texas for eight months. Nothing really worth recording in my opinion happened, so I didn't record anything. And when I could, when something was worth recording, I couldn't record really, you know. But I'm here now, a lot of stuff has changed, but not really, everything's pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit the gym, see, see what happens. Yeah, guys. A little physique check. I'm like 195 right now. Pretty fucking fat, as you can tell. Yeah. But yeah. That's where I live. My bed, desk, locker. My roommate's over there. He may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. Shedders in your fever, scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send a full stop? Do you know where the wall things go? They go along to take your home. Way down, I we build a breakfast town and save my love, my love, love, love. La la la, muscle to muscle, to toe to toe. The lyrics grip me, but here I go. And I usually go to the one that's that building right there. I live right there, that building right there. That's the one I go to, but I'm gonna go to a different one today just because it's Saturday. So, yeah. Those cars fucked up. I have my tripod, don't worry, it's just in the car. No, it's been a while. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool in here. Um, they got everything that you need. It's pretty small. She's Guys, we just left the new gym. It's fucking dope. It had its grungy, like, crappy part, and then it had like this nice ass, big ass, like, CrossFit area. I'm talking, it was huge. Then it had another room with just cardio, and um, and yeah, it was like it was fucking dope. Um, it had another room with like powerlifting shit it was it was really nice it was, it was it was really nice i i only saw one room when i worked out cuz i don't know i didn't think about it and then i when i finished my workout i went to the rest of the gym it was dope so i think i'm going to start coming here from now on just cuz it's definitely a better atmosphere This with microwave rice and so this real sugar G Hughes. So yeah, um, you're probably wondering what the fuck I'm eating there. This is it. So like, we're working. 
it's a long story. I don't feel like explaining it because I've explained it several times already, but let me make sure it's recording. Yeah. I've explained it several times and I just don't want to, but long story short is I have a weird schedule, so I can't make it to the chow hall um, during all the times it's open. So therefore I'm not on the chow hall meal card. I get allowance for food, right? But my pay stopped on the 22nd, so I'm not getting paid, not getting any food allowance. Um, on top of that, I'm expected to buy food because I'm, I can't go to the, the chow hall. I could buy food at the chow hall, but for what it is, it's not worth the price because it's, it's cheap, but it's I, this, is, this is legit cheaper, probably tastes better and has more protein, so. I'm eating this, but um, yeah, and the problem with the living situation here is I'm given allowance to buy food, but I don't actually have any kitchen or means of cooking said food, which is really fucked up. I know um, I could buy like a griddle or some like fancy shit or whatever, but I'm only going to be here for five to six months, so it's not that the end of the world, but it's just an interesting situation that this is what I'm resorting to. This is what the military is having their troops do shit like this because i'm expected to buy groceries because i'm given an allowance for food and not on meal card and i am not giving any given any means to cook said groceries obviously i have a microwave but yeah it's just like a whole fucked up situation so yeah i'm about to have some rice some chicken with some g hughes and this zero sugar vanilla this is my lunch It's all right. What's up, guys? Maybe you have to. 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 Maybe